there's so much to see in the sky. Mmm, I really like the giraffes playing kickball. What? <laughs> see, there's the long neck and legs and the really big kickball. Or is it a watermelon? <laughs> I think it's a pumpkin, Graham. I hope the dragon doesn't eat it. Don't worry, Fuzzy Llama will save the day. <laughs> Are you almost done in there? I still have to wash my face! <laughs> I could do this all night. If you do, you won't have any fur left in the morning. It's time for bed now, sweetie. But I'm not ready for bed without Fuzzy Llama. Your bed is all ready. All you need to do is get in it. It seems like someone doesn't want to go to bed. <laughs> of course, I do. I'm pooped after our fun day. I don't want to go to bed because I... I... I forgot to bring Fuzzy Llama, and I always sleep with him, and I never sleep alone, and he doesn't either, and he's going to be so lonely, and uh, I need my Fuzzy Llama! Oh, <laughs> no, sweetie, no. But you'll be okay here tonight. Hey, would a big llama squeezy help? Maybe. <laughs> it didn't totally work. I still need Fuzzy. Oh, I'm sure there's something we can do to make you feel better. <laughs> That's a nice sock, Grandpa, but... It's still not Fuzzy Llama. I've got it. I know what to do. Oh, great idea. Hey, where'd Grandpa go? You'll have to wait to find out. And now, I would like to introduce the one, the only, the almost as fuzzy and uh, a lot more linty, Little Llama. It's nice to meet you, almost as fuzzy and a lot more linty little llama. He was my little llama when I was a boy, and he helped me sleep every night. Maybe he can help you, too. Little linty llama was really yours when you were little? Sure was. Thanks. Good, Good night. night. And now it's time to eat. It was a good dinner, Graham. And all cooked in our outdoor oven. Wait, is it darker? Hmm. Hmm. It is. It's almost nighttime. Don't worry, Nellie. We're still here together. We'll be brave together. Nellie, look around and remember that the biggest change at night is it'll be darker. But the same stuff is here, just a few different sounds. But no light. <sighs> We have a big fire. And some lamps. <laughs> but you could. There's no electricity out here. You can't plug a lamp into a tree. <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's Mr. Blue Jay's friend. Mrs. Owl. Who? <laughs> Speaking of who, who, who wants some dessert before bedtime? I do! I do. Oh, what fun to roast marshmallows under the stars at night. <laughs> I forgot we were outside. <sighs> but we are. And it's pretty dark. Yeah, it is. But it's okay. The same stuff is around us from when the sun was out. Remember? <laughs> I 
believe Mrs. Owl said, Hoo hoo hoo! Time to go into the tent and get ready to sleep. I promise you warm sleeping bags. Okay, into the tent we go. A moon roof! So cool! I still don't think I can sleep with all the sounds from outside. You can, Nellie. Huh? You're brave. Will listening to music help? And I have alarm clocks to wake us up in the morning. Two alarm clocks? <laughs> <laughs> you brought a lot of gadgets, Euclid. Actually, we have music right outside. Let's listen closely to the sounds and think of them as music. It's nature's big symphony. I hear a cricket. <laughs> I hear... And it sounds like they're all talking to each other. Good night. <laughs> hmm. Now that was a great dinner. Oh, thanks, Cousin Llama and Libby. Thanks. So good. Mama, you told me so many stories about visiting here and having dinner on this porch and going to the beach and drippy tunnel. <laughs> and my dad told me so many stories about visiting your town. It was so big to him. I think both this island and our town are magical places for our family. I think you're right, Graham. And all magical places need a magical tune. <laughs> swings at all when you're sleeping. I promise. Okay. I've just never slept anywhere like this before. I know, sweetie. It is very different than home or when you sleep over at Graham's house. I think this friend will help you. Hmm? Yeah! Hi, Fuzzy. We never slept in a hammock before, outside, away from home. It's a first, for sure. And part of the vacation adventure. Hmm? Hmm? Oh! That's Chirpy, the Mockingbird. She talks a lot. Say goodnight, Chirpy. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Llama Llama. Pancakes in the morning. Then maybe Chirpy Tunnel then. Oh, you're already asleep. Arr, matey. Take that, you landlubber. And that. Hey, who turned out the lights? <laughs> Settle down, Llama. It's time for pajamas. Graham and Grandpa are waiting for you. <laughs> Ready for a lullaby? <laughs> for our favorite guy? Ready. Now it's time to climb in bed and rest your sleepy Llama head. Huh? I hear Dreamland calling you. So now you know just what to do. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Llama. We'll be back before you can say, Boom Chuckalucka, I love you. <sighs> Nighty night, sleep tight. Wait. I thought we were going to be together the whole day and night. We were together all day and a lot of the night, and I'm right here with you, just in the kitchen. Uh, hey, Mama, away! <laughs> Sweetie, you sleep. Uh, Mama! Hey, Mama! Mama, I can't find Fuzzy. He's right here, silly boy. Okay, now it's really time to sleep. I, I I didn't get a story. Llama, it's late. We had time with Grandma and Grandpa tonight instead. But, but I'm not tired, and I can't sleep without a story. Okay. But just one. Once upon a time, 
The end. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Once upon a time, there was a little llama who couldn't fall asleep. He would climb into his mama's soft, cuddly red bathrobe. Or wrap himself up in it. Exactly. He didn't want mama to leave him, ever. And I still don't. You won't, right? Now, knowing how much the little llama loved her robe, Mama decided that she would share it with him. So she made the softest, cuddliest, snuggliest pajamas ever out of her red bathrobe. And now Llama always has sweet dreams when he has fuzzy and when he's wearing his red pajamas. Good night, sweetie. Sleep time. Hmm? Mama? Mama? Mama! 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 What is it, Llama? What's wrong? Um, uh, I'm thirsty. <sighs> now, go to sleep. Sorry, I'll have to call you back. Sweetie, why are you out of bed? I'm hungry. You just had dinner and dessert. Huh? It is way past your bedtime. You can have a big breakfast tomorrow. Good night, Llama. Now go to sleep. Mama! Llama, please stop this llama drama. What is it? What's wrong? I don't like being alone. But I'm right downstairs. I'm always near, even if I'm not right next to you, Llama. <laughs> but then tomorrow you go to work and I go to school, and we won't be together. Sweetie, you get to be with your friends at school. And then it's you and me together after school and every night and every weekend. Yeah. It's always going to be Llama Llama and Mama Llama. Llama Llama and Mama Llama. And Fuzzy keeps you company when I'm not here. I love you, Llama. I love you more. More than Graham's berry pie? <laughs> Even more. <laughs> sweet dreams of our fun day. And in the morning, I'll be right here. Okay, I'll go right to sleep. Good night. Oh, now I'm sleepy too. What a full day. Good night, sweetie. Remember, Fuzzy, I'm always right here. Now it's time to climb in bed. And rest your sleepy fuzzy head. I hear dream wind calling you, so you know what it's time to do. 